Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching our News at 6. I'm Mike Tank. If you've been outside today, you know it's pretty cold. Lily Pezzavento caught up with some people who don't have the luxury of staying inside for the day. And she has the details on how to stay warm and stay healthy in the freezing temperatures. Team members at Crew Car Wash have a system for staying warm and staying safe in the cold. Rotating and keeping people out of the cold and having multiple people ready to service advise to um, a lot of the customers that come through. So basically rotating, layering up, um, hot chocolate, things like that we, we provide to keep the employees warm. Manager Brody McAllister says employees aren't allowed to be out any longer than 15 minutes. And the biggest thing that we always encourage is communication. So as long as they're communicating when they are cold, we get people out there as soon as possible. Terry Hayhurst knows that farmers don't get days off and they definitely don't get snow days. The livestock has still got to be taken care of. So even in these cold days, we've got to go out every day and start up some equipment and, and feed animals. Hayhurst says he doesn't think much of the cold anymore, but he still takes precautions. Yeah, I'm kind of layered up uh, to make sure that the wind doesn't uh, doesn't eat through the clothes real bad. Uh, I try to make sure that I get the, the jobs done that I need to during the daylight hours when it's a little warmer. Dr. Anita Tusi with Union Hospital says frostbite falls into two categories, minor and extreme. There is the non a uh, severe category, which is called a frost nip, which we all have encountered. It's when our nose, ears, fingers, and toes get a little cold. For frost nip, Dr. Tusi recommends gradually warming up. Frostbite requires a different approach as it could lead to cell death if left untreated. The way also to treat a frostbite, advanced frostbite, is to put the hands or the feet or the uh, the parts that are affected into warm water. In Terre Haute with local news that matters, Lily Pezzavento, WTWO. Of course, people can avoid frostbite and other cold weather related ailments by bundling up, monitoring their time outside, and being sure not to overexert when working in the cold.